It's very chaotic here, um, but nothing's more chaotic than the climate disaster that we're heading into. And yeah, we can see what they're doing. We can see what they're doing. It's dangerous. We're trying to hold this space for as long as possible so that Scott Morrison and the opposition hear our message that we need to declare a climate emergency now. We have police rescue that are currently trying to rescue us from the bridge um, yeah, but it's a bit sketchy compared to this. in a rather un yeah. unsafe fashion considering uh, Peck and myself are attached to each other. It's a climate emergency. We're here to take a stand against our government that don't, don't, are currently not representing us, are currently not representing our people. Um, as well as as well as Joe and Beverly and Tony, um, we also have Lily um, that hails from uh, Central Australia, just outside of Alice Springs, Ariante land, um, and it's really it's. It's really hard to to um, to concentrate right now um, with the police rescue, uh, so I might have to I might have to leave you guys. But I just want to send a message to everyone. I want to send a message to our climbers that didn't make it over the edge. Um, hey guys, cutting to you live. Um, from under the harbour bridge uh, where we are currently in the midst of getting hauled up um, by police rescue. Uh, Peck and myself um, are attached to each other, um, which might lead to complications. with their method, method of retrieval. They don't seem to be listening. Much like our government's not listening to us. Um, I couldn't think of a better way to be spending my time right now. Um, I think everybody has a responsibility um, to not rest, rest on their laurels. Um, and to address the, the elephant that's in the room. We have the power to do this. Um, we have people power. Our government, our, our government are failing us. And uh, we need to put our vote where it counts. Um, that's one way of making change. But we also need to just get out there. We need to need to put our bodies on the line. We need to stop business as usual. We need mass civil disobedience. We need to make coal history. We need to declare a climate emergency. We need to stop the corporate greed and the revolving doors of the media and coal lobby, coal industry, and government. We have an environmental minister that has a history in, in coal mining. Um, and we have, we have, we, we have another minister uh, that bets, makes bets with the public about if climate change is real or not. Our coal fondler and chief, Scott Morrison, brings co lumps of coal into parliament and shakes them around and tells us 
to not be scared, not to be afraid. And they all have a laugh. We have Peter Dutton and Tony Abbott hey, hey, laughing about water lapping yeah. at the doors of Pacific Islanders' homes. Sometimes it feels like I've just fallen to earth and nothing makes sense. This is the only thing that makes sense to me. This is the only thing that we should be doing right now is addressing this climate issue, putting it in the face of the people that are meant to represent us. My abs are really, really sore from all the gear that we're carrying. It's getting quite cold up here, um, but we're holding tight. Dan's just had a little snack for some energy. <laughs> and um, I might have to might have to tap out right now. Um, but I'll check back in with you in a little bit. Thank you to all the supporters. Um, we really want you to join us in oh, I'm getting raised by the police.